things keep getting worse for former American Pickers co-star Frank Fritz. After being booted from the program after two decades in 2020, Frank suffered a debilitating stroke in the middle of 2022 that he's still a long ways from recovering from. Not only that, it appears he's struggling financially. Join Facts First as we explore how Frank Fritz could go broke after his medical bills. Frank Fritz's situation keeps getting worse. Last we heard from former American Pickers co-star Frank Fritz, he had suffered a debilitating stroke in the summer of 2022 and had lost the ability to take care of himself. A little over a month later, one of Frank's longtime friends filed for conservatorship over the reality television star and was awarded it. Things seemed dire for Frank, but at least he had people looking out for him. Now it seems as if the members of Frank's camp have something new to worry about. Recently, documents were leaked that revealed Frank Fritz's monthly expenses. Given the greater context of the reality TV star's financial situation, these documents seem to indicate that some pretty hard times are coming up for Frank financially. According to the documents, Frank's monthly expenses are nearly $30,000. Around 20000 of this is spent on medical care, as he still receives massive amounts of medical attention around the clock. A couple tens of thousand dollars in medical expenses is one thing, but there are also other monthly expenses that appear to be chipping away at his bank account. The documents allege that Frank spends over $1,000 on food, nearly $1,000 on transportation and clothing, and another thousand just on insurance. When Frank's monthly expenses are totaled up, it adds up to around $270,000 that the former American Pickers co-star needs to stay alive. In the world of celebrities, this may not seem like much. However, Frank isn't the wealthy figure some might assume given his celebrity status. It's estimated that his yearly income is only around $60,000, with that sum coming from various investments. Frank hasn't been a member of American Pickers since he was let go in the spring of 2020. Why doesn't Frank sell off his junk? Frank Fritz might not have a whole lot in the way of traditional wealth, but those close to him know he has a whole lot of junk. Amidst all the junk he's accumulated over the years may be some random treasures that could help him out of his financial difficulties. However, his conservator claims that he has no immediate intention of going through the star's hordes of potential treasures and taking inventory. The conservator's plan right now is to get Frank set up on unemployment, which the reality TV star should have been on before suffering his stroke, given that he hasn't been employed since being fired three years ago. Frank Fritz's debilitating stroke happened on July 14th, and he was in the hospital until the early part of September. Since being released, he's been living in a rehab center. Of course, this has gone a long way towards keeping his expenses high. Once he's given the clear to head home, things might lighten up for Frank financially. However, there will be other expenses that need to be paid before he can be released. These include the installations of various handles and ramps around his home so he can get around. Once Frank is released from the hospital, his longtime friend and current conservator will continue taking care of him until he makes a full recovery. In addition to helping with his physical therapy, he'll also help him cook and shop for groceries. Sadly, it doesn't seem as if there's any chance of Frank returning to American Pickers, whether he makes a full recovery from his stroke or not. His last appearance on the show was in March of 2020, and his exit was mysterious. Frank Fritz's Mysterious Exit In the time leading up to Frank's final appearance on American Pickers, the star was drawing some heat for what fans considered to be some pretty rapid weight loss. Fans were understandably concerned for his health or worried he was abusing illicit substances. As it turns out, the reason he was losing so much weight was because he was trying to get his health back on track. He suffers from Crohn's disease, which affects his digestive health. Frank decided to take better control of his diet to alleviate the effects of the disease, and these changes also saw him give up alcohol for good. As a result of these changes, he lost nearly 70 pounds before being fired. Though it's generally agreed upon that he was indeed fired, the cause and circumstance of his firing are tricky to determine. While he's generally thought of as being fired in the spring of 2020, his initial absence from American Pickers that started around this time is generally attributed to the back surgery that he underwent. Later in 2020, he checked into rehab as a result of his alcoholism. He was allegedly cured of it before leaving and was doing well in the time leading up to his stroke. He was in the rehab facility for over two months with a stay totaling 77 days. 
Frank went in on his own volition, and he claimed afterwards that he made the best of his time there. His mother had just recently died of alcoholism, and he was taking his chance to give up his problem very seriously. According to him, he read a dozen different self-help books during his rehab stay. Frank is already experienced at rehabilitation. Up until his stroke, Frank kept up his rehabilitation from alcoholism so seriously that he was attending AA meetings twice a week. Hopefully, Frank will have just as much luck as he continues to rehab from the effects of the stroke. It's heartening to know that Mike Wolf, the man who fired Frank from American Pickers, wished his old friend well via social media. In addition to starting up and starring in American Pickers together around two decades ago, Frank and Mike were lifelong friends until their recent falling out. As with the firing in general, it's not entirely clear what caused the falling out or what the status of their relationship was in the time leading up to the stroke. Mike may have wished Frank well on social media, but all accounts have it that the two haven't spoken since around the time of Frank's last appearance on the show. At some point between March of 2020 and July of 2022, it was decided Frank was never coming back to the program. Not long after his initial disappearance, Mike's brother was brought onto the program to fill the void. Frank and Mike filmed around 20 seasons of American Pickers together, totaling 300 episodes. There are many things that could be blamed for Frank and Mike no longer being friends. After Frank took an absence from American Pickers to have back surgery, he publicly expressed his disdain that his longtime friend never called him to see how he was doing. Many used this information to hypothesize that Frank made the decision not to return to American Pickers himself because he couldn't handle Mike's ego. Frank has always been vocal about his awareness that Mike is the true focal point of the show while he was only the sidekick. Danielle Colby publicly sided with Mike Wolf. In interviews, it seemed as if Frank was okay with his place as Mike's sidekick. If ego wasn't behind Frank being fired from the program, perhaps it was his alcoholism. Frank's alcoholism was apparently a big issue over the course of his time on the show. Some believe alcohol abuse made his behavior erratic, and this is why he was fired. Fans have been divided about whether or not they side with Frank or Mike in the feud, but one person who seems pretty confident that Mike did no wrong is Danielle Colby. She's another member of the cast. Like Mike, she's still on the show. In the summer of 2021, Danielle made a vague statement via social media that seemed, on the surface, as if it was in support of Frank's recovery from alcoholism. However, fans were quick to dissect the statement to reveal an undercurrent of resentment towards Frank that couldn't be denied. The statement suggested that Frank's erratic behavior had indeed been the cause of his firing from American Pickers, with Danielle saying that Mike was simply holding him accountable for his actions by firing him. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory from American Pickers? Let us know in the comments section below.